One gene, one protein theory is at the heart of the GMO technology and this itself is being questioned by new geneticists who find a serious problem with this. GMO technology where you take a particular gene from a bacteria or some other organism and insert it into another one uh, to give it a better uh, quality or better production or better trait of some kind. Does it really work in theory? Can you take out one gene from one uh, organism and put it into another organism even if your transfer system is perfect and you don't cause any collateral damage? We know collateral damage is a fact of life and they do it randomly, they do it very, uh, the, the technology is extremely imprecise and, and, and collateral damage galore. But nonetheless, even if it was theoretically perfect, can taking out one gene cleanly and replacing it with, with uh, another one from another organism really work without unexpected side effects that we are possibly not even testing? And what happens when glyphosate as a a pesticide is added to this mix. This is a question that I placed with Dr. Anthony Samsel, who along with Dr. Stephanie Seneff of MIT has been studying glyphosate and links with serious illnesses for uh, for a long time. Anthony Samsel himself is a retired chemist and a consultant who was working with the, with the independent think tank Arthur D. Little in, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And this is what he had to say about the one gene, one protein theory mixed with glyphosate. Dr. Dr. Uh, Mai Wan Ho uh, over in England uh, wrote an article about six months, seven months ago, and she said that, uh, that the work of Samsel and Seneff actually disproved uh, uh, that one gene, one effect theory. Uh, what, what we showed, uh, what Stephanie and I showed in our papers, is that uh, uh, if you affect one gene, it can affect many more genes, and it can have a cascade of effects of, of dozens uh, of systems uh, affected. And, and, and that's particularly true because of glyphosate. Glyphosate is one of the, one of the, uh, 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 the most unusual chemicals that I've ever studied. Um, glyphosate uh, chelates uh, elements uh, of both metals and nonmetals of the periodic table, and uh, it chelates and ties up elements that are necessary for bacteria to function. Uh, it's a uh, uh, glyphosate is uh, is an antibiotic. It kills uh, many species of bacteria. Some develop resistance to it. But when it kills these species of bacteria, um, it's knocking out complete functions that have ca a cascade effect in our biology and, and that of other living things. Now, what I mean by that is that of the thousand or so uh, species of bacteria that we have on and within us, uh, those bacteria uh, number in the trillions. Uh, they are in the order of, uh, say, uh, 10 to 1. They outnumber our cells 10 to 1. So, uh, so our biology uh, is highly dependent on bacteria. Without bacteria, we would not exist. We are a substrate for those bacteria. Now, what do those bacteria do? Those bacteria break down food um, uh, in sections and uh, and. Also, they extract elements uh, like cobalt and manganese and iron and, and copper and uh, molybdenum. All these uh, elements that are necessary for uh, different functions. And each species of bacteria uh, has a particular element or elements that are peculiar to their own biology. In other words, um, our bacteria are like, um, uh, they're like mining companies. Like we think of oil and gas mining on the earth and the extraction of minerals. Well, that's what our bacteria do in our gut, from our mouth uh, right through our colon. Our bacteria uh, extract minerals and utilize those minerals for the production of vitamins, enzymes, uh, and things that, uh, that nourish our body and that our body needs. Um, uh, glyphosate destroys most of the vitamins in our biology. 
by interfering, killing off our bacteria in our gut and colon, um, uh, it virtually wipes out our, uh, our B vitamins from B1 to B12. It wrecks them. It destroys them. Uh, we need uh, cobalamin, vitamin B12. We need vitamin B6. Um, uh, and we need vitamin K. Uh, like I say, disrupts and destroys our vitamins. Not only does it destroy our vitamins, but it it disrupts the aromatic amino acids that uh, that are necessary to our very function. Uh, like with uh, with methionine. Uh, methionine. Uh, that particular amino acid is necessary for uh, uh, sulfur uh, uh, throughout our, our body, and phenylalanine, and, and and the amino acid tyrosine. Also, the amino acid tryptophan uh, is a, a most key element because with uh, with tryptophan, we don't receive all of our tryptophan from our diet. We get some of our tryptophan uh, from um, uh, bacteria. Uh, and we need tryptophan to produce serotonin. Serotonin uh, regulates and controls uh, two main things. It controls our blood sugar and uh, uh, insulin uh, regulation. It also controls our IGF-1, uh, which is our insulin growth factor. Um, and I, IGF-1 is necessary for, for, uh, for neurogenesis. It's necessary for the production of, uh, new, of new neurons. Uh, for our brain throughout our life, it's neuroprotective. It's, it's necessary neurodevelopment and motor function, cognitive skills. Uh, it's directly related to ASD and autism, um, and it's it's necessary for the regulation of our normal physiology. Serotonin also um, activates uh, EMOS, which is endothelial nitric oxide synthase. And that's responsible for insulin secretion. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, 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 it undergoes catalysis uh, to nitric oxide production, and uh, it controls our, our airway and vascular tone, our smooth muscle relaxation. Um, there, there's a cascade, uh, as I mentioned, of things that happen. When one thing gets wiped out, you get one gene wiped out, and you've got dozens of effects. You get one, one species of bacteria wiped out, and it starts, uh, it starts causing complications. Like I said, our bacteria are like mining uh, uh, mineral and mining companies. They control the distribution of minerals in our biology, minerals that are essential for the production of vitamins and for our overall health. And that's as simply as I can put it, Tony. So there you have it, folks. It's all humbug when people keep telling you, oh, this fellow is lying. You know, there's so many shills out there, pro-biotic, uh, you know, lobby groups and all kinds of uh, trolls. I mean, they keep confusing, oh, you don't know this, you don't know that, and you know this thing, blah, blah, blah. Basic thing is, the science is crappy, the business model is exploitative, and is designed to take away your food independence. That is what it is all about. Anyhow, until next time, ciao.